Hey guys, my name is Iridescent Ika, and welcome back to another video. So, The Unknown, uh, he just came out. I'm oh, I'm really excited. He's a really fun killer right off the bat. Uh, I think he has potential to be one of the best in the game. Well, I don't know if I'd say one of the best in the game, but he's definitely up there. He's a fun one, for sure. Um, so, I'm going to be playing a fun build on him today uh, that I, th I feel like showcases his power and some utility from him really well. So, and it feels kind of lore accurate to the character. I was thinking, so like, what's this whole thing? He, he, he lures people and deceives people and tricks people, right? Confuses, disorients, and tricks. So I was thinking, what's kind of play off that gimmick? So we have Unforeseen, one of his perks. When you perform a break action on a generator, your tear radius transfers to the generator for 30 seconds. So the generator basically gains your tear radius and then you gain no tear radius, okay? We have Dark Devotion. When you hit, when you're, uh, when you damage your obsession, they become, they gain your terror radius, and you gain undetectable. Haunted Grounds. There's two hex totems that spawn. If one is, uh, if one of them gets cleansed, the other goes away too. But they, but that causes all survivors to be exposed for 60 seconds. And then we have Hex Two can play one of Chucky's perks. Anytime you are stunned. By, or blinded by a survivor two times, if there is no hex totem associated with hex two can play, a dull totem becomes a hex totem. Survivors who stun or blind or, or blind you are blinded themselves for one one and a half seconds. So again, the entire point of this build is just, hey, let's build something that like confuses and tricks people. For add-ons, we're gonna be running the hypnosis swatch, which survivors hit by uh, UVX why it is airborne, so for exhausted st status effect. It's really nice. And then we have Footprint Cast. It just decreases the time between hallucination spawning. Uh, for I was running a general blood point offering, and it'll be a really fun match because it's a really fun build. You kind of just, you you move your terror radius off of you, start teleporting around, and people just play right into your, into your trap. So yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll see you guys in the match. All right, guys, here we are on the new map as well. Okay, so the big thing here is we're going to want to try and find survivors early on. Just so we can get things ro the ball rolling with it fast. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how the decoy, the whole hallucination thing works, but from what I think, from what I understand, is it's gonna be fast. More of them appear, the more there are weakened survivors. I'm pretty sure, and they appear near weakened survivors. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. With that, we're at Killer Shack. He does have a med kit. I may have gotten him if I had just swung. This guy just keeps going. Beautiful. Great. Go ahead and we're going to kick this real quick. See what I... This is perfect. They just don't know where you're at with this build. And so it just causes so much confusion that it's with no tear radius and no red stain. Beautiful. So haunted grounds did just go off, so we're gonna hurry. TP to Disorian, everybody. Oh, Jeffrey. Beautiful. We see sable, one of the sables running that way. This is what I need. It's just so easy to apply high amounts of map pressure, teleporting around up to power, and they have no clue where you are. Not the slightest clue. Because you're you're detectable a good chunk of the time. Hello, Sable. We'll go ahead and hit you with that. Uh, you should have dropped that pallet. You really should have dropped that pallet. Oh, the greed got to her. 
So now the other thing the other thing that is important to remember is we do have two complete, so it is completely pointless if we don't actually let it get activated. So sometimes it is good to bait stuns. So we're gonna go ahead and we hit Sable there. Keep in mind, they didn't even know we were coming because uh, Dark Devotion. She still doesn't know where I am. I have no red stain. She can't read where I'm at. It's perfect. We go ahead and pick her up. We'll throw her on here, and you can just see how one use of one of the perks creates such... Why are you doing that, Jeff? Excuse me? I'm so confused why Jeff did that. Jeff's throwing. I don't know why Jeff's throwing. We missed. Okay, we're gonna vault. Oh, I thought she'd be in the pallet. Just Steve left now. We'll go ahead and hit this. No clue where Steve's at. Is he healing himself somehow? Oh, the, I'm sure the panic that just that Steve just experienced. He thought he was safe, and then he turns and sees me. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. That is extremely loud. Two can play is active now. I know it doesn't really matter at this point. Honestly, Steve kind of, kind of, I think Steve did not do what he needed to do for the team. Why didn't you pick her up? Ooh, not a great angle on him there, unfortunately. No. Let's go ahead and pick Sable up. I have no clue where Steve went. Kind of lost him there. Steve did pretty good there. I'm not gonna lie. I should have. I should have held off when I saw him use. I I watched. I literally watched him use a septic. He used it in my face. <laughs> Jeff throwing though was kind of funny. <laughs> but do you guys see what I mean? I thought this match is already still a perfect example of it. It's. It's just a quick build that you move, and you move from hallucination to hallucination after losing your terror. You don't just lose your terror days, you transfer your terror days. It throws them off even more. Oh, and my dogs are barking. Oh, Hanky. I don't know what he's barking at. He just had to have some teeth pulled, actually. I have no clue where Steve will be straight up with you. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs, but I'm sorry if you can. Hank! Hey! Uh, good old dog, right? They bark at so many unnecessary things, I don't know why. Fact that we have no we're gonna use the fact that we have no pay raise of what I was trying to say he was on hatch instantly okay well big GG survivors it was unfortunate that Jeff kind of just gave up but the build was just really overwhelming right there he got hit by hardened grounds I can understand why he might be upset last mind he had distortion on and light see not to mention our power countered life but we also had haunted grounds so he just kind of got you kind of got comboed right there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Either way, I think that was a great example of it, though. You just teleport 
from you teleport from hallucination to hallucination after losing your terror radius survivors panic they don't know where you're at you sneak up on them it's so easy and it's so fun i would highly recommend checking out this build i'm gonna have more builds coming for the unknown soon and some more stuff with the unknown because i think it's fun i have another video in the works with using another one of his perks that's gonna be um it's gonna be a lot of fun that's gonna be involving the doctor at last it's gonna be a lot of fun but yeah so i definitely make sure to check out the unknown if you haven't he's a f really fun killer um yeah if you like the video go ahead and leave a like down in the comment down in the description by the way there will be a link to my discord you should definitely join you can meet me meet other people to play games with and have a chance to be in future videos um there's also going to be a link to a google a google form where you can submit your own killer builds that you want me to try uh if you go ahead and leave any comments that you have to share uh, make sure to subscribe for more Dead by Daylight content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Eek out.